time. I wondered how something as beautiful as love could come with so much pain and hurts. For accepting us as a fellow member in this organization. We are properly grateful celebrating our accession to independence. I'm particularly pleased that It was always difficult for strangers to understand my parents' love. But isn't that what love really is? A bond no other person understands apart from those who are bound by it? Yes, it does. Because if you travel by sea, you, you realize that there, there are no much... Uh... Vince! The man himself. Vincent, my cousin. <laughs> Thank you for coming to pick me up. Oh, you know, as your cousin turn driver, it is my work. <laughs> you heard about the rumors? What rumors? About the many girls you impregnated at sea? Oh, great, great, great young, great young cars. Uh, the rumor is about breaking away from uh, uh, Majesty's rule. That is foolishness. Why would we want to be independent? Vincent, why wouldn't we? Speaking about independence, your parents are talking about finding your wife. That's the last thing on my mind right now. I'm only concentrated on my career with the company. Oh, I hear you. Don't forget you promised to help me get a job with them too. Yeah. Um, I haven't said that. I don't think having a woman by your side supporting you is actually a bad idea. Mpa Hilary, your brother is optimistic about this one. So why isn't he the one here telling me about it? You know your brother. He doesn't share your business sense. <laughs> well done, oh, Chief Marketer. Well, me, I probably feel good about this one. I think this one is good. They said the same thing about the granite business, the palm oil business, and, oh, let's not forget, the shea butter business. But this one is different. Huh? Papa Hila is different. You have to help us. N help me and talk to him. Let him help us. This one will work. I don't even know what you people are talking about. Uh, my, my dear, you can drop it there. It's business. Thank you very much. Nothing else that we are talking. Did you harvest yams? Ah, this one is very nice. Didi, what are you doing? 
I'm just selecting. Let me look for some healthy ones that I can grab you. Was, hey, that one is. Nah, Hilary, wait. What are you doing, Didi? Mm, I don't know what you're dragging. Hilary! Hilary! Hey! 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 Is it Hilary that I'm seeing? No. Hilary! Mama! How are you? <laughs> <laughs> See how lean you look. Are they not feeding you on that ship? Uh, but Mama, everyone is telling me I've put on weight. They are blind. Uh, Mama, <laughs> people are also saying that I'm very, very lean too. Look at you. Go away. What? In the oh. Papa. <laughs> Hilary, no. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> I have a meeting with the district officer. Okay. And uh, when I come back, we will see. Okay, Papa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, on the other hand, Father Keto. Oh, okay. I've been asking of you. Oh, really? Please, now that you are back, find time to see him. I will, Papa. Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> Auntie. Hey, no. You look good. Thank you very much. Welcome. Auntie. Thank you. Did you what uh, is this? It's yam that I will thank you. I want to take it and eat. Hmm? Thank you. I am very happy. If you want to chase me because of yam, it's not about being slim. Oh. I can run. No? <laughs> also. <laughs> you are now welcome. Thank welcome, you, Auntie. My she you has a change. Also? She has. <laughs> For the worst. <laughs> I will be on my way now. Who? Oh. Thank you, my dear. Greet your mother for me. I will. Thank you. Mama. Who is she? Oh. She's my friend's daughter. Yeah. By the way, your father and I have something we want to discuss with you. Okay, Mama. Uh, can we please go and eat first? I am sure that the food is getting cold. Which food? The one you cooked? It was the first time my father ever made eyes on my mother. My father was never one to be distracted. And at that time in his life, all he wanted was to focus on his career. Yes, Mommy. But seeing my mother that day, changed everything. Love, such a funny thing. One minute, you want nothing to do with it, and the next, it starts to reshape your entire life. In those quiet moments, I would always wonder what went on in my parents' minds. Regrets? Revenge? Pain? Or just love? The principles upon which the United Nations organization is Welcome, Daddy. Thank you. Fourthly, Nigeria hopes to work with other African states for the progress of Africa and to assist in bringing all African territories Today's Nigeria's to independence. Responsible independence. It's the recent tragic events in the Congo
Did she find peace in those moments? When she wandered quietly around the compound, my father felt so. It was why he moved us to Uguaji and built such high fences. Thank you. Mr. Nkemjika, please carry on. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Hillary here hasn't answered my question. Yes. But he hasn't answered any of our questions. No. Yes. Yet he's seated like a demigod, mm -hmm. forgetting the era of colonialism is past. Mm -hmm. When he used to enjoy immunity from personalities like a father cat. He came, Jika. Uh, please, 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 please. Put that prefix, Mr. Mr. Nkemjika. Is there a question that I have been asked by this panel or inquiry that I haven't answered? If your issue is the look on my face, then I wear it only because of my disappointment with this panel. <laughs> Let me tell you, this panel wouldn't have been established if you have not messed up the funds of the community. Oh. First put in your care. Can you imagine? 20,000 pounds. Yes. You cannot account. He cannot account for 10,000 pounds out of it. Mr. Chairman, it was my belief that this is an inquiry and not a courtroom where Mr. Hillary is being accused of a crime. It is an inquiry, Mr. District Commissioner. Mr. Nkemjika. Uh, sir. There will be no accusations made here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Then thank you, uh, the district commissioner, for pointing out all these flaws interfering in this affair. If I had a lot of friends, you were standing topmost. But look at you here. Hey, favoring Mr. Hillary just because you had a lot of powers on your shoulders. What are you insinuating? What am I insinuating? It's very simple. Establish facts. Mr. Sherman, Mr. Hillary here has spent a better part of his life and finances in service to this community. From his pocket, Mr. Chairman. From his pocket. He has repaired roads, sunk wells, and he has empowered local businesses. In Kemtika, making him the head of this trust fund was a no-brainer. As if he is too drought as the most suitable candidate. The only candidate. Yes, yes. And, and look at him. A good man. Here he is being pilloried for what very well seems like a, a, a witch hunt. Mr. District Commissioner, nobody's wish hunting anybody here. How what we are asking here is an answer. So that we can get to the root of this. According to the contractor, money meant for the final phase of the L Center project were due over a month ago, and he hasn't received a dime. Meanwhile, government and missionaries have come out to say that all funds have been disbursed. What do you make up of this? Uh, uh, funds have been received. Yes. Uh, what we are experiencing now, it's a, a minor glitch oh. that we are trying to resolve. Maybe, please, I think you have to come here because you are the treasurer. So come and give us a better explanation because from what we are seeing so far, the boss, you call your boss, is, is dabbling here and there, trying to escape, bitching about the bush. Oh, treasurer, are you drinking water? <laughs> eh? I, oh, oh, he's drinking water. <laughs> ah, ah.
Prince. Sir. Please, come, 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 come. Sit down, sit down. Huh? Sit down. I need you to put yourself together. With due respect, sir. I'm the treasurer of the community trust fund. When they find out what we did, I'll be the first to be arrested. I know, I'm trying to resolve all of this. How? How will you refund that kind of money in such unlimited time? How? I will find a way. But first, I need you to calm down. Calm down, please. <laughs> You're drawing too much attention. I cannot calm down, sir. I cannot. I don't even know why I got myself into this. Prince, sir. you did not do a bad thing. Yes. And here we are, sir. I'm going to need you to bring all the files with you to me. But what if they come requesting for them? Just tell them that I said you should bring the files to me for safekeeping. That's... Okay. Uh, you will have to excuse us. I don't understand, sir. Excuse us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> please, Commissioner, please. <clears throat> Commissioner, look, it's not what you're thinking. Then help me, Hilary. Help me understand all of this. This is just a minor glitch that I'm currently... Trying to trace the money. I know. You said that already. You said that at the panel. There's no panel here, Hilary. This is you and I. Talk to me. I've already told you all you need to know. Hilary, you and I go a long way. We go way back. Heck, your father got me this job. I want to help you. But I need to know how. Kemjika is not letting this thing rest. He's the one who wrote the petition against you and the trust fund. He's going to get that panel to indict you and get the CID to investigate you. You could end up in prison.
Take him to his room. Just take him to his room. Go! Go! You know you look good in bright colors. You look good in blue. It should be your best color. Thank you. <laughs> so, good evening, ladies. Isn't it too dangerous for you ladies to be walking on this lonely road all by yourselves? We walk on these lonely roads all by ourselves every time. Quite fine, thank you. Oh, I see. Indeed, you are fine. In short, you are very fine. As a matter of fact, you are too fine. But my name is Hilary. We met yesterday. Yes. <laughs> oh, I remember you from Uma's house. Indeed. So you did remember me, but you did not stop to say hello to me. I... <sighs> Can you please stop working? I need to catch my breath. <laughs> and this lazy one right here is my cousin, uh, Vincent. <laughs> not a pleasure. You have such a beautiful smile. <laughs> Thank you. You too. You have a very beautiful smile. Is it okay if we walk you home? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, come in. Have you forgotten that we have a very important meeting? The other direction. That can wait. Wait, what? I really have to go now. I know my parents would not like to see me outside. Especially with a man. Oh, but our parents know each other. Not really. Just your mom and my mom. Because they teach at the same Baptist class in church. Okay, then you have to promise me that you would allow me to take you to the Empire Festival in Calabar this Saturday. I can't. But what? I have a lot of chores on the weekend and I'm not sure I would be done. But I would like us to take photographs. Really? Yes, really. Uh, but photographs are expensive. Oh, well, I know, uh, but I've been saving for the past one year to take a photograph. I would only be happy if I do it with someone I really care about. I really don't think I can. Well then, you would leave me with no choice. I don't understand. What I'm trying to make you understand is that I will be here Saturday noon singing out your name until you come out to meet me here. Then my father would meet you with his gun. Oh, then I shall die in your arms with a bullet in my chest. No, you will die in front of that house with the sun in your face. <laughs> Please. I will see what I can do. Just wait for me at the station. At three. Okay. Uh, then I shall count the hours the minutes and the seconds. <laughs> Bye. 
，拜拜。Father Keto, you sent for me. Hillboy. Yes, Father. How are you? How is life at the shipping company? Oh, all is well, Father. Thank you. But I do not see myself working there any much longer. Why, if I may ask? Well, Father, I want to move back home and help my people. Is that all? I want to settle down, Father. Get married and and start a family. Are you sure your family's not pressuring you? No, Father. Have you met someone? Yes, Father. Are you sure it's just not lusting after her? No, Father. I have met with a lot of women in my life, but she makes me feel different, Father. I see. Father, I want to marry her, Father. Are you sure? You've thought this through. You're not just acting. I know how you get when you have something in your mind. I know, Father, but you also know that I I'm not one to make promises and go back on them. Hmm. This must be serious. Please tell me more about her. Oh, Father, she's an amazing woman. She has the prettiest smile, the prettiest face. Slow down. Them. down. Slow down. Maybe if we could start with her name first. Her name is Teresa, and she has the most lovely soul on earth. She's a girl after my heart. I want to be with her, and nothing else to say. so happy together and in such a short time there wasn't a love on the face of the earth that blossomed like theirs Matthias master where are the negatives? I gave them to you, Master. Well, I've looked all over. Hello. Good afternoon. I'm sorry, we don't have any job openings right now. I'll post it outside when we do. Oh, no, but uh, we're here to take photographs. <laughs> uh, you can't. Uh, I think we should leave now. Oh, it's... Why? 50 shillings. Oh, but I have 50 shillings here. Okay, well. Oh, there you go. 
Besides, Father Kettle recommended you, and um, he sends his regards. Oh, Father Kettle, please, uh, please give him my regards also. Thank you. Stop your laughing and get the chairs together for our customers, please. Okay, Master. Please follow me. Ah. You lead. Madam, you sit here. Sir, you stand here. Okay. Stay like that. Don't move. After the count of three, say cheese, I will take. Okay? Three, two, one. Imagine what it would be like to get your picture taken and have it immediately. Oh, my darling, that would be impossible. I know. I know. Think for me. Just good. I was thinking I sing so well that I have plans of sending back that King Cole back to wherever he crawled out from. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a joker. You want to send King Cole back. So, aside from sending King Cole back to where he came from, what other plans do you have? Well, I, I intend to help my people. Uh, with all this talk of independence around, I hope to do something for my people and give them a better life. You want to become a politician? Far from it. Good. I don't like politicians. All talk, no action. Ah, well, you keep asking if I become a politician, then I might just become one. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. You're frustrating me. With the way you're going, we can't, we can't deliver anything. Don't let this drop. I said you whine. Okay? When you want, if there's a problem, if this is coming out, you push, you push it. You push it back in. And then the money flows out into the basin. So what is happening there? Hello, Mr. Hillary. Yes? Uh, good to see you. Yes? I love what I'm seeing here. Very lovely. And you're also getting your hands dirty too. Thank you. And who are you? Sorry, how rude of me. I am Fred. These are my colleagues. We are from the CID. I'd like to discuss a few things with you. Oh, well, I, uh, can we do this another? As you can see, we're very busy here. I have a, I have a delivery to, 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 to catch up with, please. Very well. We have all the time. We'll wait. Um, oh, well, on second thoughts, maybe we should just talk about it now. Okay, we are here as regards the funds for the Community Health Center. So we'd like to see every single file regarding that. Well, the, all the files are not in one place. So I, I will have to gather them together for you to have them. And so if you can come back, say, in two weeks. <laughs> Mr. Hillary, you have till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. What are you standing there doing? Moving out here didn't fully protect us from everything. But at least, in here, we had our peace. Charles! Charles! <laughs> I knew you would be here. What are you doing here, this boy? What are you doing here, Charles? <laughs> you don't listen. Yes.
<laughs> Have you come to check on the mad woman you married? To see if she has destroyed everything? I didn't marry a mad woman. Zoba. Larry, get out. Get out. Igeze Sega. If it will make you happy. Looks like today is one of those um, good days. Well, are you okay? Hmm? Lillian had an incident with one of her schoolmates' mom earlier, but she'll be fine. What happened? The usual. I'll start lunch. Vera, thank you. For what? For everything. Look, you're a teenager, right? You're supposed to be out there playing with your mates, you know, dodging to see boys. But here you are, trying to be a mother to all of us. Hmm? I'm not complaining. I know, but thank you. Hmm? Is everything okay? I'm fine. Why? Recently, you come home from work, not your usual self. And this isn't about mom. This is different. You try to hide it, but I see it. You've not been eating. You hardly touch your food. Tomorrow, I'll make your favorite meal. The one you won't be able to resist. Thank you. Thank you. You can tell them you are sick. But that was the lie you asked me to tell them the last time. Yes, and you will tell it again. I mean, people get sick a lot sometimes. I have to go to work. It's only just for two weeks. Just? Yeah. That means you do not miss my company when you are away. Oh, but I do. I really do. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry, my <coughs> You are only coughing, my dear, because you want me to stay back to take care of you. Maybe. I have to go to work. Why do you love me? Lover boy! You put it on us! Yes, please, one minute. Why do you love me? Honey, I would need a paper and a pen because it's a whole journal for all that. I'm serious. I, my okay, all right. Now, listen, I, I love you because of your heart. You're a beautiful soul, okay? 
Would you love me forever? Even when I'm old and wrinkled? But of course I will, my dear. But you have to remember that when you're old and wrinkled, I would be wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to miss your boat. I love you. Forever and always. Jude, is that you? Jude, is that you? Jude, is that you? It's James, mommy, but Jude is here. Where's Veronica? She went to daddy's factory and sister Lillian is sleeping. Shut up! Talking to my boys. Don't be afraid, boys. Don't be afraid. Mommy is talking to, to our bad friends. They're whispering in my ear. Do you know where the key is? Yes. Now, what are you doing here? Everything is fine, Daddy. I brought your favorite, Ukwa. So who's with your mom? Sir. Who's with the girls? S sir. Why did you leave? What did you tell him? I don't... And why is he running away? He's trying to play games. Hello. Where's Jude and James?
Sometimes, I would wonder if the only reason he endured was because of the promise he made. But promises are just words. Words that can easily be broken. So, no. This was more. Sisters. Good morning, Daddy. Dad in the kitchen with Mommy. With Mommy? Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. With Mommy? Hmm. Mama. There were good days. They didn't last, but they were good. It was a break my father deserved. A break we all deserved. Hello, girls. Good morning, Good morning Daddy. Good morning. Mm. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Good night. <coughs> Go and play with your boys. That must be Vincent. Oh, I didn't know Vincent was coming. Well, He's lucky I made more food. You know him? Yes. I'll be waiting. Yes. <laughs> that was that was heavenly. I hope uh, Vero has kept my takeaway pack. FFO. <laughs> <laughs> For food only. <laughs> this food that will kill you. <laughs> Don't forget the women. The women too. <laughs> uh, talking about women, isn't it time you found a wife? and then try to settle down. You see, you're beginning to sound like my parents. Until it becomes legal to get 10 wives, then I'm game. But for now, baby, what, what is it? Really? One guinea for a bride price? <laughs> Married 10. <laughs> why, why are you like this? <laughs> uh, by the way, Teresa seems to be looking better. Yeah, we get these breaks from time to time. How long do the breaks last? The last sometimes one day, one week, sometimes months. You see, no one thought this marriage would have lasted this long. I'm sure the family will not even blame you if you decide to take me or not. Can we talk about something else? Okay. All right. Regarding the health center. How come such amount of money was missing? I hear you are now the head of a department in, in the shipping company. How's that going? Well, if we are going to be changing topics, then we might as well just talk about the fine foxes in the shipping company. <laughs> why, why are you like this? Uncle Vincent was always a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I'm sure he was also an escape from my father. Even if it was just for the few hours he was usually around for. Lady, how many times have I given you people money to start one business or another? And I never get anything back. You see, and the business itself never takes off. 
Well, brother, you know business is not easy. But I assure you, this time you will get your money back. We'll pay back. You are my brother's wife. And I care so much about both of you. Henceforth, you and your husband, you are on your own. You see, I can't be putting so much money and I don't get anything in return. You see, eh? you spend preferentially. Maybe if you had children, you will prioritize better. If we had children, Brother, if we have children. Uh, <laughs> Wait. So, our childlessness is now our fault. Eh? Really, that was not what Brother, I... Brother, I thought it's God that gives children. Okay, you, how many do you have? Is it not just one? If having children were easy, why didn't you have more? You have just one, Hillary. That's even if you're the father of Hillary. Enidi. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. You are the one who started this. So you can tell me anything because I came to ask you for money. Because you are, you are richer than everybody now. You want to be God. You are not God. I will not worship you. You are not God. If it's your money, chop it. Swallow your money. I don't care. Chop your money, call you Gaffo. Nonsense. You are, you, are, you are God that I will worship you. Hey, this is your sir. My daughter, come, come, come. Come and sit down. Sit down, just sit down. Um, so, Hillary... No, no, he, he isn't back yet. You know, he has a delay in his second trip back. He should be back on Monday. Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Let me go and greet him, ma. Uh, go, she's inside. You travel too much. I never get to see you. Well, that's behind us now. You'll see more of me every day from now on. That is how you men are. You would tell me what you think I want to hear, and when we get married, everything will change. Are you trying to tell me that you have finally agreed to get married to me? I don't know. You don't know? Maybe. Maybe? My parents like you. They do? <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. Why? Now you are going to be so pompous. <laughs> Me? Pompous? Never. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> you are such a character. <laughs> I should take you to go meet my parents. And tell them we're about to get married. You know, tell the whole world we're about to get married. 
Are you sure they would like me as your wife? They love you as a person. I'm sure they would even love you more as my wife. I hope so. I know so. What was that at the port? What was what? The girls. Oh, the girls. You see, the girls, they can only like and admire. But uh, I have got eyes only for you. I'm sure that is how they swam all over you when you travel. But my darling, I told you the traveling days are behind us. Right now, I want to focus on me. Focus on us. No, helping my people, our people. If you say so. Of course I say so. Oya, smile for me. What is this Oya you keep saying? Oh, that. It's one of the numerous slangs I learned on one of my trips to Lagos. Every man on the ship kept saying, Oya, my luggage. Oh yeah, my wife. <laughs> like, oh, you're supposed to mean something. So, oh yeah, let's get married. Where is the car? Oh, it's uh, it's at the mechanics. Oh. So how is the community centre coming? It's coming. Work is going on well. Hopefully we will stop working soon. Good. Good. Mm. You? How are you? I, I am good. I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't have asked a better question. Just was just wondering how important these small moments are for me, for us. <laughs> mm. Oh, you smell so good. I was wondering when you would notice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfume you 
got for me last Christmas. Oh, was it the only perfume I bought for you? Naughty, naughty man. You also got me undergarments. Now, I wonder what colors they were. Hmm, you want to come inside and show mm -hmm. me? <laughs> come inside. Let's go inside. Oh, no, too heavy. Lazy, lazy man. Lazy? Yes. You will see what lazy would do to you in there. Let's go. Larry. <laughs> Last to get is a monkey. <laughs> I won! I won! You're the new family monkey! Oh, this monkey needs sugar. Come, come. This monkey will get plenty of sugar. Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. Monkey needs sugar. Yeah. Sugar, 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 sugar. Maybe I should be happy. Clap for you. Because you are a weak husband. You have nothing to say. Even when you are supposed to say something. You take all the insults in the world. Keep quiet. Keeping quiet. What are you keeping quiet for? Your brother insults us at every little chance he gets. But you won't say anything. And you are quiet. Let's not forget that he has helped us more times than insulted. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Hear what you're spitting from your mouth. Maybe your brother is even the reason why I don't have children. Even though you are useless and weak, I, Ndidi Wisiki Mabala, I am not. I am not weak. But your brother? You will hear from me. I hear it's painful. Only at first. Do we have to? Do it when we get married. No. If you want to have your own children, you will have to. We can adopt. Not that there is anything wrong with adopting, but uh, wouldn't you want to have your own children? I suppose. Ah, forget about it. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. What do you think your parents will say? I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon. Mom. Papa. Isn't it too early to start talking about marriage? You barely know yourselves. Nani, how long did you and I know each other? before you asked for my hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, you didn't even woo me long enough. Uh, that was a different time, not this time around. I promise you, sir, I will love your daughter wholeheartedly. In fact, I will love her until my very last breath. <laughs> uh, that is how we say it. That is how young people of this day say it. But do you mean it? Ha, ah, Nani. Are you praying for somebody to stop loving your daughter? Uh -uh. Stop putting words into my mouth, woman. Eh? <clears throat> As I was saying, um, all I want is for my daughter to be happy. I want her happiness. That's all. Uh, but you, young man, you should know the tradition. You should know that you will have to bring in the elder ones from your family 
so that we will all sit down and discuss about this thing. That is how it is done. Uh -huh. Isn't it? Now you are talking now. Nah, Acquire? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> you cannot come and ask for a hand in marriage. Only you. Hey, eh? Okay. Eh, bring all the other people. Oh, one. Uh -huh. eh? mm -hmm. Asam. Uh -huh. So, uh, um, uh, ne? We'll get something for him to eat and drink. Okay. Uh, Umbanu, sir, I, I'm very okay. Thank you very much. Hey. Yes. I, I just made fresh soup. Uh, I'm okay. How uh, for how? I'm fine, Papa. Thank you. What is the opposite of love? Could it be hate? Or just plain wickedness? Everyone's wedding day brings with it the start of a new journey. The 4th of April, 1944. My parents started theirs in a different direction. The doctor said my mother was going to live. He said the worst was behind them. But was it really? Lead poisoning. It would take a couple of days to know the true extent of the damage. At high levels of exposure, lead attacks the brain and central nervous system and can cause a coma, convulsions, death, or in my mother's case, Severe mental retardation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Mama. Good morning. I'm getting ready to leave. Yeah. If you're wrong, Mom, I'm going to miss you. Don't worry, Mommy. It's only for a week. Oh, you are lying to me. I know. It's more than a week. Hmm? I have something for you. I have something for you. Mom. Hmm? Where did you get all this money? I've been saving it from the little your father gives me. Thank you, Mommy. This is too much. We could manage it. Daddy already gave me some money. Is money ever too much? Veronica. You are the first fruit of my womb. And with this breast that suckled you, I bless you. And I say thank you. Thank you for being a mother to all of us. Especially when I cannot be one. Thank you, darling. Mm. 
Mama. Hmm? What happens to the woman that did this to you? Don't. Don't have that look in your eye. Mm -mm, Mumba. Mm -mm, don't. Vengeance is not yours. I, I have forgiven her. I, I have forgiven her. Given and lost out on so much because of mom's condition. I was happy I was going to write these exams, but I was sad at the mm. same time. So even in Oka, you couldn't get a good price? I'm not all. Just keep the casa. Selling the car right now would just be a waste. But I need money, that's the problem. I'm gonna keep the car. Well, thank you for your advice. You're welcome, sir. Mr. Hillary. We asked for documents relating to the community health center. This is for a borrow. Yes, a project I did about two years ago, bringing portable drinking water to hundreds of people in the community. Cost me about a, a thousand pounds. This is for a lighting project. I acquired a transformer to boost local supply of power. Cost me 2,000 pounds. Are you trying to ask for a refund? Mr. Hillary, we do not have time for this. More so, all of these projects were not carried out under the trust fund. I'm just showing you that th these are monies I spent out of pocket for the betterment of the community. Now, here I am being pilloried for 10,000 pounds. I make 500 pounds every single year. It would take me 10 years to get anywhere close to that. You're not giving me what I want. If you save us the time, I will have it in our report that you were cooperative. What are you doing here? Mr. Hillary, is that how to welcome your guests? Mr. Kemjika is here as an observer. Since when did the law allow an accuser to be present as an observer in an ongoing investigation? <laughs> Mr. Hillary, on the contrary, I am not here to accuse you. The people who are writing petition are the citizens of Uwaji. I'm just here as a humble community, public interest lawyer, who is out to make sure that this rubbish is nipped in the Get out of my office! Unfortunately, he can't. The concerned citizens of Ugwaji have also petitioned the CID as concerning the slow pace of this investigation. And reports reaching us have also attributed this to you, Stonewalling. The Western Commissioner of Police has also instructed that Mr. Nkemjika be allowed to see the proceedings and report back to the community who have been agitated as concerning the health center. Agitated terribly. You can have this. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, excuse me. Huh? Mr. Larry. Lily? What's the matter with mommy? Take, take, take. Uh, uh, stay with them, okay? What's wrong with her? Hey! 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 
Stop, 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 stop. Calm down. Calm down. Leave me alone. Calm down. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Uh, you just you and I here now. Oh, I'm here now. Uh, just you and I here. I want to be left alone. Leave me alone. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What if you should leave me alone? Leave me. It's just you and I here. Shane, look, I don't love you. Look, I don't love you. Yeah. Uh, no! Go, go stay with your, your siblings, quickly. But they're crying. That is why I say you should go and stay with them, Lily. That's why I say go stay with them. My children are crying. Okay, I'm so sorry. I want to hold my children. You, you will, you will. It's over, you will, but not like this. Let me help. Do, Lily? Yeah. Children. You hold them, you hold them, but not like this. Not like this. You are evil. Don't hold my children. Leave me. I said, leave me, leave me, leave me. Go away, go away. Go away. No, go, go to the no, no, no. Out. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If I leave you alone, they win. Do you want them to win? Do you want them to win? They stay. What will happen to the children? What will happen to the children? What will happen to me? What will happen to me? It's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's okay, baby. Oh, oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. My father's voice was always so soothing. And in most occasions, it helped to calm my mother. At least for a little while. That's good. This is just a short-term loan. Can't the bank advance me the loan based on my past performances as a sign of good faith? Please. Unfortunately, this is not done like this. You need to put up the house again as collateral. But I cannot put up the house again as collateral. That is what put me in this mess in the first place. Mr. Hillary, you and I have come a long way. I would have saved you the Trip to town. But without any collateral, the bank cannot grant you the loan. Sorry, I'm late. Are you okay? I'm okay. Sure? I'm okay. <clears throat> what are you having? 
Let's get you another one. No, 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 I'm okay. With this, I'm okay. Sure. Okay, I have what he's having. Why did you ask me here? Why did you ask me here? See, I have some friends within the CID. They say this Kemjika fellow is pushing that they subpoena all documents relating to this case. I, I know you keep saying it's some little glitch somewhere. But you're not coming forth with any documents. And you're not saying anything to anybody. I've told you all you need to know. Come on, Hilary. You can talk to me. You need help. And right now, it seems like I'm doing. The... Oh, shh. What is the meeting for? Planning the next action? Not so. How are you this evening in Kemjika? You are okay. I am okay. Keep your greetings. Huh? But let me advise you, Hilary. Stop being led by the nose by this man. He will drag you to your disaster. Good night, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, good night. Uh, good night. I give you. Hey! Ba man, ba woman, Hilary. You need to talk to me. This man wants your head. You have trusted me with much more money before? Yes, I have. So anything that will make me dip my hands into public funds is inescapable for me. You took the money? Hilary, my man! <laughs> Hilary, Hilary! <laughs> Go ahead, guy. <laughs> oh, Sandy, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good. Um, just brought these foxes on a tour of our community. Um, <laughs> you look like you want to have one. No. Don't you think uh, so? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're good. Okay. We're good. Thank you, Daddy. Come on, man. Come on. You need a woman, a real, I mean, a real woman, man. You need a mentally stable woman. Real. Sandy, Hillary, no, I can't. Hillary, stop. Hillary, stop. This. Stop. Stop this, Hillary. I'm not a scientist. Hey. Hey. Look out. The next time you speak about my wife again will be the last time you use your mouth. Take it easy, man. I'm just joking with you. I'm only joking with you. Don't talk like that. Mommy, it's raining. Please go back inside. Mommy, please. Stop. Lily, go inside. Mm -hmm. Stop it. I don't deserve this. Why didn't they just kill me? This is worse than death. Please don't say that. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. If you die, what will happen to the children? I want to die. What will happen to me? What will happen to us? We couldn't. We couldn't. I have not been a mother to those children. I have not been a wife to you. You have been more than a mother, and more than a wife to me. Please. The Larry they go to look at me. I'm trying. I want to die.
It had been a week, and I was excited to be done with my exams and headed back home. Welcome. Sorry, are you here to see someone? My name is Ukeme. You must be very. You haven't answered my question. I am not here to see anybody. I live here. I'm your dad's new wife. You must be joking. Lillian! Jude! Samuel! Be observing their siesta. Since when? Since now. Sorry to bother you, sir. Yes. Sir, my pay slip. I went to the bank yesterday and it didn't clear. Oh. Hold on to it. Huh? I will tell you what to do uh, when you can go back to present it. Huh? But go back to work, please. Sir? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, 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 it's okay. Have a little, sir. You've been down here all day. No, not yet. How could you? Vero, what are you doing here? After all these years. What are you talking about? Like you don't know. How can you do this to my mother? Are you not supposed to be in school? I wrote my last paper yesterday. Oh my God, I forgot. If you had remembered, you would have taken that Okema woman back to where you have been hiding her all these years, right? That's not fair. Fair? Do you know what fair is? I promise that I will stay by your mother's side through thick and thin and I've been doing that. I, I only brought her in when you went to school just to help. Did you marry her? No. Are you going to? No. And, and I'm sorry. I will fix it. Vero. Vero. I will take care of it. Veronica. Mr. Hillary. You must provide every document listed on this subpoena, or else you'll be arrested. It was a moment of weakness, a moment that showed he was human after all. But clarity came to my father just as fast. It never happened again. What, what are you doing? I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you. I was just angry. It's and... okay. It's okay. I, 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 maybe I just needed that as well. I thought I needed a more matured woman in the house when, when you went to school. It's okay. Hmm? Daddy. Daddy. Mommy. Mommy's missing. Huh? Your mom? Yes.
Theresa! 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 Did you see my wife? Your wife? No. <sighs> Has anyone ever seen Oga's wife? He's married. And what are you doing here? Get back to work! Hilary, I don't know if this is a good time, but, but your staff look depleted. The factory looks ill-managed. What's the problem? I took the money, Vincent. What money? The community health center money. I took it. You what? <sighs> Teresa's medical bills were just getting too much. And when I had a major export, I, I needed a loan. Went to the bank. They used the house as collateral. The ship then had issues. My products all got spilled. What? Well, you never mentioned this. I just got tired of complaining. Vincent, do you know what it means to see the woman you love naked in the streets? Children running after her, howling and throwing things at her. That is why I built the house, Vincent. That is why I built it the way that I did. I built a sanctuary for my family, Vincent. And they wanted to take it. I just couldn't allow that. I had no choice. You see, for many years that you've been married, you've been running up and down, spending money on doctors, native medicine, anyone who could offer you any solution to this problem of Teresa. And right now, I think this is a sign. A sign for what? That it's time for you to maybe move on. Move on? I should move on from Theresa. I know the Theresa that you knew when you got married. It's not the Theresa now. Maybe to you. Not to me. I'll find her. You don't see, do you? Your parents, before they died, when they were alive. They wanted me to remarry. What did you expect? You were an only child. This discussion is over. No, it is not. Can't you see the problem that this thing is causing you? Do you see the pain and grief you've caused your family? Your friends? Just because of Get Theresa. Get out of my office. Get out. Fine. You're on your own. I have always been on my own. Okay. Mr. Hillary. Yes? I have a warrant to arrest you and others to seal this place. Officer, I know you have to arrest me, but my wife is missing. Allow me to find her first and then you can take me in. Just give me till this evening or tomorrow morning. Everybody leave this place, seal it up. Everybody stop what you're doing and file out. Seal the place.
Mr. Hillary here yeah, is a respectable member of this community and has earned the right to speak. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, he's a criminal. Yes. 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 Out only on bail. Uh, no, no. On bail. Let me remind this honorable panel and Mr. Kimjika, the law is very clear on this. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Oh, there shall be no more further disruptions. Mr. Hillary, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I took the funds without due process. Accepting his guilt. Guilty. Mr. Chairman, no eh? amount of excuses. Mr. Chairman, like I said, no amount of excuses will make up for what I've done. But I love this community, and I have done a lot for the community. I suggested the idea for a community health center to the missionaries through the help of Father Kettle. And when the funds for the Health center was not going to be enough from the missionaries. I approached the commissioner for government for support. Mr. Chairman, long before I was made chairman of any trust fund, I've always used my resources for this community, for the betterment of this good community. That's it. That is it. But despite all of that, I have betrayed the trust of this good community. And I am willingly submitting myself to this panel to decide my fate in any way it deems fit. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hillary, it is because you're a respected member of this community that is why we have decided that if you are willing to pay back the money that was taken, you will be free to go. No, 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 no. Mr. Chairman, you cannot do that. Yes. The power to do it is beyond this panel. Yes. This matter has to be settled in court. Yes. Mr. Nkemjika, you forget very quickly that this is a matter between this community and Mr. Hillary. And this community has decided that if Mr. Hillary is able to pay the money that he borrowed, we will let him go. We shall see. Mr. Hillary. Mr. Chairman. Would you be able to pay the money that you borrowed today? Honestly, Mr. Chairman. May I, Mr. Chairman? And you are? My name is Elizabeth, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hillary here is uh, family. I have a check for 7,000 pounds. The money he stole is 10,000 pounds. Yes. 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 10,000 pounds. Yes. 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 10,000 pounds was stolen. Yes. 10,000 pounds. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Hillary, the panel will give you a month to come up with the rest. Congratulations. You are free to go. What does it look like? Of course not. Congratulations. Who is she? It's, it's Vincent we should be asking. Vinko, what was... What? Let her explain herself. Let her explain Hello, herself. Hello, Hillary. My name is Elizabeth Kettle. My uncle, Father Kettle, sends his regards. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without your intervention. 
I am so, so happy. I... Vinko, you came through for once in your life. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more to say. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Commissioner. You're thinking about her? Yes. You found her. You did? You <laughs> did. When? Yesterday. She's at home waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry that I left. It's okay. You're here now. That's what's important. I miss you. I missed you. What is this? It's uh, it's from Father Kettle. It's our picture, the one we took on Empire Day. <laughs> yes. My dear Hillary, it was so good to receive your letter back in May. I had hoped to reply sooner, but my health has not been the best lately. I was sad that you never got your picture from Carpenter before. It had been on display with other pictures of Africans at an art exhibition. I made sure I retrieved it and got you some compensation for it. 3,000 pounds. I was so sad to hear about your money struggles. I know all you asked was that I pray for you, but sometimes prayer isn't enough. Action is needed too. I have added 7,000 pounds to your 3,000. I do hope that helps with the bills. Finally, that's my niece, Elizabeth. Please do take care of her, and if Vincent is still single, please tell him he will die if he touches her. For the longest time, I held on to the bitterness against the person who did this to my mother. But watching how strong my father and mother were through it all paved the way he to kept forgiveness on loving in my heart. His wife, my mother, as he loved him before, or when he met her. And um, over the years, my mother, her episode became calmer and quieter. And when we finished writing it. Mama? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what did it happen now? She not here, won't sleep. We're just... Uh, we're just what? The people just... Uh, we're trying to wrap up. We're trying to wrap up. You see, my mother, you're happy. Say, we should, we should die there. They say they cannot have food until mama come outside. Please, see, let me tell you, I am like, I have for sale. I have for is mm. the two uh, so far because I have. It's only one that is working. The second one will get any problem. Okay. I don't know what I Okay, okay. Let me just ask her a few more questions. You want to just a few ask her. now? Yeah. Ask her, make it. You see this. If I use it to if I use it to hook your deck before you do face like see I can see Mama, people are ready. Okay. Thank you very much, Ma, for your time. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Mama, let's go. We all know that we're here to celebrate my grandfather, Hilary and Theresa, their love story, which interestingly ended magnificently and produced. I actually have three generations of us here. So to mark the memorial, we brought Teddy to sing for your case. Can I please ask Teddy to please come up and do what she's best known for? Give it up for Teddy. Teddy. Or rather, for your case, you believe for your case, you na 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 na. Are you ready to party? Yeah. I slap for you for your case. 
I go to war for your case. I go to court for your case. I climb the bridge for your case. Enter water for your case. I punch the judge for your case. Anything you want, baby. That's for you, baby. For your case, you. For your guess, you. For your guess, you. Go show this for your case. I go slap a girl for your case. I go call them see you all you are more. I go report all of them. I go go show this for your case. I go slap a girl for your case. I go call them see you all you are more. I go report all of them. So tell me what the hell are you waiting for? If not to chop into me, we go chop. If not to suck it, carry. We go suck it. What the hell are you waiting for? If not to suck a camel, we go suck it. For your guess, yo. For your guess, yo.